So one thing I preach a lot on this channel is to market your business as soon as you start your business. So this doesn't mean you have to quit your job. This doesn't mean you're the most experienced detailer in your area. This doesn't even mean that you've actually serviced your first customer. It just means, in my opinion, once you want to start your detailing business, the most important thing is to bring in customers that, that are going to pay you money. So the way I always preach here is by um, doing SEO, search engine optimization, for your website to get ranked on the first page of Google. That's what I preach. That's what's really changed my business and impacted me. So in this video, we're going to get a bit technical and I'm going to show you how to do keyword research inside the Google AdWords keyword planner for your car detailing business. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that since its inception, the keyword planner was free. It would give you all the data that you wanted with you not having to spend any money. Now, just recently, Google changed it. You actually have to actively spend money in the AdWords platform in order to get all the keyword data as you used to. So now you'll get a range between zero to 100, 100 to 1,000, 1,000 to 10,000, and 10,000 to 100,000, or something like that. Not very useful. Now, if you're actually spending money, then it'll give you exact volume data, such as 610, 540, so on and so forth. So I don't know how much you need to spend. I don't know how long you need to be spending. But when you log into your AdWords account, which is free to see the ranges now, you're not gonna get exact data. So here I'll try to do three different cities, three major cities to try to get different data and hopefully you can kind of tune it into yours. Um, because again, you're gonna see ranges, not exact data like I'm gonna show you here. So I'm Oscar with Detail Groove, where I help you start and grow your car detailing business. This video here on keyword research, it goes great with the ebook that I created, which you can check down below. So with this video, once you actually analyze and see what's, what searches you want to rank for, then use the ebook I created down below in the description, download that, implement the strategies, and you'll be well on your way on developing a proper, found, a strong foundational structure for your SEO. Okay, so once you log into your AdWords, you're going to click onto tools, you're going to hit keyword planner, and you'll land on this page. We're gonna click on the first tab, which is search for new keywords. Now here in the targeting, the only thing you wanna keep is the United States. You can change it to your local city, so whether it be San Antonio, Phoenix, Philadelphia, or you just keep it in the United States and just make sure here in the search box, you just type in your actual city. So for this example, we'll keep it as uh, targeting in the United States and in the key box where you put your key terms, I'll just put the actual city that I'm trying to rank for. And here the language, now whichever language you wanna go for, I'll take off Spanish and just keep it as English. You wanna click save. So first city on the list is we'll do Los Angeles. Now you don't need to put every single key phrase or service that you offer. You only need a handful or so. And once we go to the next page, um, the keyword planner will suggest a lot more key terms for us. So we'll go with Los Angeles car detailing, auto detailing duration, Los Angeles. And that's good enough. We'll scroll down where it says get ideas. Now you wanna make sure you're on the keyword ideas tab. Now this first box here is actually the search term that we searched for. So uh, we we'll wanna go ahead and add these to our plan. So on this right hand side, this blue, bo this blue box button, we're gonna click that and it's gonna add it to our plan. And that's gonna be on our right hand side over here. Now on the left side column, it says the search term. This column here is the average monthly searches. So how many people are searching it per month. And then the suggested bit is for the pay-per-click campaign or the pay-per-click platform, which is what AdWords is. So this $1.54, that's what you'll pay for one click within AdWords. $2.63 is what you'll click for one click and auto de for auto detailing Los Angeles in Google. So that's good to know. So what we're gonna do here now is simply scroll down through the results and whatever we find is relevant and has search volume, we'll add it to our plan. And again, we'll add it to our plan by simply clicking this blue button. So we're gonna keep on just scroll down nice and easy. We're gonna look at the search term, look at the volume and then click add to plan. And again, it's bringing it down over here to our plan and to our clipboard. And we'll just go down little by little. Now, you wanna look for search terms or key, key phrases and words that are relevant to your services and to your city. We don't need to worry about car cleaning kits or auto detailing supplies. That's not within the city 
we're searching for. So we're not going to try and rank for that. So now you're going to keep on just going down until you find more relevant keywords. This can take a while depending on the city, how many searches, what other relevant um, keywords Google is giving you. So you just want to scroll down little by little and find what fits your services. Now, once you've gone through the list and you've searched for as many as you can, you can go back to where it says copy the clipboard. It's going to show all the keywords that you've added to your plan. You're going to copy those, go back up to the search box, delete those, paste in what you just copied from that clipboard. And now we're going to go over it again. And hopefully we can find more keywords that the keyword planner is suggesting to us. And here we go. You see that? It's going to do this a few times just to kind of filter out for key for the keywords inside the keyword planner and find more relevant searches. Here's another one. Okay, you can keep on scrolling as much as you want, go through different pages, even here down in the bottom. You can adjust how many searches it shows you. So you can put 50, 30, you want to keep it 100 and just keep on scrolling down, go through different pages. Um, I, there will be a cap at some point. There's only but a handful of searches that are made for detailing services. So don't think you're going to find a hundred searches with, you know, 500 searches per month. It's going to be just a handful of services with, depending on the city you're living in between 800 to maybe at max 3000 searches per month. Uh, overall, if you're at, if you're aggregating all the, um, the search volume from all keywords. So once you found all your keywords, then you can go back to the bottom right hand corner where it says download plan. You can either export it to your Excel CSV or I like Google Drive, so I actually export it to my Google Sheets. Hit download, open file. Okay, now we'll open up in Google Sheets. Now this does look like a lot of information. It's actually not. We're gonna delete most of it because we actually don't need most of this information. So from campaign name all the way to networks, we're gonna delete those. From keyword type to segmentation, we'll delete that. We don't need competition and then impression share all the way to organic average position. We'll delete that. We'll get rid of these top rows. Now what we're going to do here is simply group these keywords by the type of keyword that it is. So let's say we'll have a group here for mobile auto detailing. We'll have one here for mobile car wash. Then we'll have another one for car detailing. And we'll have another one for auto detailing. Now we'll go through all these keywords and group them into the category they belong. Okay, so now I've grouped the keywords together. So now mobile auto detailing, so mobile auto detailing, mobile detailing, mobile car wash Los Angeles, not exactly the same, but a, a slight variation. So for those, we have around 200 searches per month for auto detailing, such as best auto detailing Los Angeles, Los Angeles auto detailing. Auto Detailing Los Angeles, California, we have around 250 searches per month. For car detailing keywords, we have car detailing Los Angeles, Los Angeles car detailing, best car detailing Los Angeles, and so on. For those, we have around 440 searches per month. And you just want to do this through the keywords that you're finding, seeing what you have in your, in your, in your Excel and in your, in your Google Sheet. And then you just want to group them and see how much the search volume, what services you want to rank for, uh, which ones are most profitable for you, what's the most fun for you, and which ones you kind of don't want to go after because they're either not as profitable, not as fun, you don't have the experience in it, whatever it may be. Here's going to analyze what you really want to go for on your website. And again, with that ebook that I created, which you can get in the description down below, you can tag those together and you have a real strong foundation for your SEO. So now let's do San Antonio. So this one, I'm going to go a bit faster since I've already showed you the example in the first one. But again, we're going to have it targeted to United States and English. We're going to put in the city and then we'll just drop in a, a handful of services that we offer. So headlight restoration, car detailing, auto detailing, and that should be good enough. We'll just go down and hit get ideas. Again, you want to make sure you're in the keyword ideas tab. This first box is again the search term that we searched for. So we can go ahead and look at the search term, the average monthly searches, and then add it to our plan. Next, we'll scroll down and just start analyzing the data. Now here, where it says show rows, just put it to 100 so you can, be, so you can see more. 
And just like the other one, we'll just go down little by little and see which search terms are relevant to our services and our area. And then we'll add those to our plan. Now, once you have enough keywords in your plan, again, you can go to copy clipboard, copy them, go back to the search box, delete all of those, paste the ones you just copied, hit enter to get ideas, and you wanna go through that process again and find more keywords that are related to your city and your services. Once you're done, go down, click download plan. Again, I go to, to Google Drive, download, open file, and we'll clean it up just as we did with the first one. Now, don't be discouraged when you see keywords that only have 10, 30, 50 searches per month. That can still keep you busy. That could be one or two customers per month if you're doing everything right, that will call you up for your services for whatever service that they're searching for. So we can see here that car detailing in San Antonio has 740 searches per month. That's pretty good. Car wash alone has 1300 searches. If you're in San Antonio and you got your good SEO game, you'll be busy. Now for auto detailing in San Antonio, we have 440. So you can tell if you, if you have a proper SEO strategy in place, you can be real busy all year long if you're in San Antonio. Now, remember that if you're in a big city like San Antonio, like Los Angeles, like Dallas, your search term volume will be much higher than if you're in a population sub 500,000 uh, people. That's just the way it is. So if you're in a smaller town, that doesn't mean you're not gonna be busy. That doesn't mean SEO isn't right for you. It's gonna, it, it, just, it just means you're in a less populated city. So that doesn't mean that you won't get phone, you won't get calls or emails every single day, every single week. It just means that you're in a smaller town, you have lower volume, so you have to find different methods or you have to really be uh, doing your SEO right to make sure you're really capitalizing and optimizing all the possible um, potential leads that you can get from SEO. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you're in a bigger city, more search volume, more competition, but obviously if you get a proper strategy in place, you'll get more phone calls, more leads, more traffic. In a, smaller, uh, in a smaller city, less traffic, less leads. But again, that doesn't mean SEO isn't gonna work for you. That doesn't mean SEO, that doesn't mean Google won't bring you customers. Still need to capitalize on getting your, your website ranked on the first page of Google. Now, that is essentially it. And this is a real vague video. It wasn't too as specific because um, that would take quite long. So I wanna keep the video short, but that was a good foundational video on what you need to do to look for keywords in your local city. Now, this is just one very small part amongst the overall SEO strategy for your detailing business. Now, ranking your website on the first page of Google can take anywhere between three to nine months. That's a huge range, but there's a lot of factors and variation. There's a lot of elements that go into this that determine how long it's going to take. Personally, it took me eight to nine months. I've helped other uh, businesses take somewhere between three to six months because they already had a strong foundation and, a, and good traction going and I just finessed it to work even better. So it's gonna, determine, it's gonna be determined on a lot of factors. If you've done no SEO, if you really haven't done anything to it other than add pictures and, and content, copy, words, um, if you, you know, just because your website has been live on Google or, you know, it, it's been, you know, published for four years doesn't mean you have any more power than the next website that was just started two weeks ago. Um, so, you know, it will, it, it is an investment. It is a long-term investment. But let me ask you, once those six, once those three, six, eight, nine months is over and you're ranking on the website, on the first site of Google and you're consistently getting calls, emails, and texts for your services, how beneficial is that? From, you know, eight months from now, you're gonna say, I wish I would have started eight months ago, so now I can be ranking. So it is a long-term deal. You will invest money into this, but it is worth it because this, like I said, if you're somewhere like in San Antonio, there are thousands of searches per month for detailing related services. And if you could be on the first page and capture a percentage of, those, uh, of that traffic, then you will get consistent leads and customers every week and every month. So something to think about, it is a long investment, I understand that, but this is business and I'm assuming you're in it for the long run. So SEO is definitely something you should look forward to. Check the description down below. It's a four part ranking system. It'll give you a strong foundational system 
on getting your SEO foundation going, get you a bit of traction. Again, it depends on what you've been doing in the recent times. If you've ever hired anyone, if you've done it yourself, that's gonna determine how long it takes. So check that down below, leave me a comment. Let me know if you wanna see more of these technical videos on SEO or other parts of online marketing. And I'll see you on the next video.